AEW. This is professional wrestling redefined. Wrestling fans, welcome to another action-packed hour of AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined right here on Maddie GTV. I'm Phil Coven alongside my colleague Derek St. Holmes Esquire, and we have so much to pack into this hour. Later on, we're going to have the AAW return of Alice Colon, very uh, dangerous individual from the East Coast coming back to AAW. And then Derek St. Holmes, what do we have coming up as well? We got Cole Cabana going against Dirty DL Dan Lawrence, the legacy superstar of AAW. I'm really looking forward to that one. That one's still to come, but right now, fans, we're going to start off with some ladies' action. I know you like the ladies' action, St. Holmes. What can you say? Well, we have the uh, second generation superstar, Heather Patera, as she takes on her arch rival, Heidi Loveless. And that's coming up right now. Let's take it to the ring. Understand this is a rematch, Phil Co. Oh, sorry, while you, I didn't mean to interrupt you while you're taking your notes for your live updates that you perform at every show. Where could you uh, check out what you're saying about the show? Uh, check out the recap on AAWrestling.com. And yes, this is a rematch from last month. It was highly competitive. Don't you have a Twitter, though? I, I to do. That would be at, at Phil underscore Colvin. All That's right. Twitter. I'm just trying to plug you. you know. Get it out there. Don't you have one as well? That's uh, way funnier than mine. At St. Holmes Esquire. Wow. But yes, this is a very competitive match last month, and it was uh, Heather Patera coming out on top. But, you know, Heidi Lovelace has really endeared herself to the AAW fans here in recent months. Just showing a ton of, uh, of heart and perseverance Ooh. in the ring, even against a bigger opponent like Patera. And let's see what happens here tonight. Spins through, gets her in the top wrist lock. Surprised to see that against a stronger opponent like that. Heidi looking to reverse the position here. Ah, nice. Very good, very good. Rudimentary to someone like you, of course. Yeah, oh, I, that's what I like to see. Oh, no, beautiful Northern, Northern Lights. Lights. Heidi able to roll over there and grab Main, the front face lock. Maintain the hold. Very smooth. Very smooth. Heather Patera forcing to her feet. Of course, coming from that bloodline. Ken Patera, one of the most underrated workers, I feel. You like the full Nelson, did you not? Swinging full Nelson, actually. I had to get in the broke, best of this exchange here. Broke Billy White Wolf's neck to such an extent that he came back as she got non LKC. Huh. Oh, nice kick there from Heidi. Sends her reeling. Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, oh. No. Nice, sharp European uppercut. <laughs> Heidi Lovelace, I bet you she's got those real sharp fists. She can cut you open by punching you in the face without even trying. Oh, nice agility there. She skins the cat, if you will. No, skinning the cat is coming back in. You're right. Nice kick there, and you know, St. Holmes, not since the likes of Mischief is the, have the fans really gotten behind a women's competitor like oh. Heidi. Wow, I thought she was going for a crossbody, instead goes for the arm drag. It's a lot of work for an arm drag. Well, it sends her opponent all the way to the far side of the ring. Out of steam now. Oh, and face first into the buckle she goes. Oh. That could be the turning point here. There, I agree with you. Too much, too much work for the arm drag. Didn't soften her up enough. Heidi's got, oh, no, 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 no. E. Oh. Steel post right to the baby maker of Heidi Lovelace. Wow. Yikes. Whoa. Heather Patera. Oh, Poulter just drops dead weight to the floor. Patera's got a mean streak Ooh. in her St. Holmes for sure. Look at these forearms now just bouncing her head back and forth. Wow. Wasn't that a hit for y and I believe it was. Mean streak. Action on the outside here, fans, is Heather Patera in control. Oh, oh Lovelace firing back with some chops. Oh! Both women brawling on the outside. PJ Drummond going on the outside. To oh, and this match is getting physical quick. Pull some order back in. We do have to remind you, it's AA Wrestling. No count outs, no disqualifications. Oh! So much for those arm ringers early, huh? Well, you know. Can't quite see if Lovelace is staggering to her feet or still on the floor. Patera dropping the big lumber across her back. Whoops her in now. Cover. Two count on it. Sharp cover. You know, we talk about Heather Patera, you know, spending time with her father, but she did spend a lot of time in Harley Race's camp as well. Not bad company to be training with. Not at all. You really get drilled oh. in the fundamentals. The camel clutch. Oh, <laughs> with a double fish hook. A lot of guys would pay good money to have that applied. Yes. Oh, and now a cross facing her. 
St. Holmes, are you aroused? Very. No, I'm not aroused. You just said very. This is a good wrestling match. Uh, killing me here. Come on, we're finally oh. not. Oh, those are up. No, oh, thought she had her there. We're finally not laughing our way uncontrollably through oh. a match. And now, oh, it doesn't go for the cover. Just a good old-fashioned choke. I'll tell you what, this has gotten pretty personal here. Here, Patera's going to die, Heidi, die. Oh. Patera out to prove a point here tonight. Wow. Right the back, back of the head into the mat. I do like the blonde on Heather Patera a lot better. Yes, I yes. agree. Cinches are in now. Suplex position. Wonder if they're gonna hold her. Yep. Michael Elgin tonight defending his title against Shane Hollister. It's gonna be a hell of a match. That's true. We are sorry about the uh, absence of Sammy Callahan. I do have word what happened. I can say that Sammy was getting ready to part to depart for his. His dream that he's finally attained, moving everything he has down to Florida. I understand there was problems with the trailer. Uh, yeah, it fell off the car. Well, Very unfortunate there. I mean, you, you will be able to look this up. I'm just, you know, I want to make sure everybody knows the truth. Here we go now. Patera going up top. Very uncharacteristic of uh, Miss Natural here. Taking an awful long time. Oh, and Heidi with some great presence of mind to oh. snap that top rope back. Tit for tat for the baby maker shot earlier there. I agree. Oh, hey. Oh, whoa. hey. All right. That, uh, that top was apparently holding her back for some reason. Builds up ahead of steam. Awesome. Into a standing head scissor. Everything Take, happening now is awesome. Taking an awful long time after it. She's got to come back in. Wow, she blends into the lighting at the Eagles Club like when a, a, a newscaster wears green or something in front of the screen. Huh. Oh, oh, roundhouse kicks now. Still got her down. Heather Patera up to one knee. Heidi Lovelace going off here. Oh, missed that one. Picks her up into, up into a chicken fight, grabs her hand. This could be an electric chair. Oh. oh, drops her down hard. Oh, but she doesn't have enough. She's just got to roll over. Both women down. Wow. Hard impact there. On wow. That electric chair drop. I wonder if Patera may not have tucked her head appropriately. Taking some of that impact on the back of her cranium. Both ladies now showing signs of movement. Ooh, uh, Patera just spit a hacker there. Oh. I'm sorry I missed that because I was looking at the... Uh, Day's look on the Ooh. face of Loveless. Oh, straight up right hand, right to the face. Oh, she telegraphed. Oh no, Whoa. there it is. The swing. swing. Beautiful, beautiful. That's got to be it. No, oh. oh, turn it into an arm drag. Great counter by Lovelace. Coming back out of the swinging full Nelson. Has her up. Hurricane Rana, can she hook the leg? No. Out at two. Tara in, eats a boot, staggers back to mid-ring. Lovelace climbing up. Oh, rides her down with the knees! Beautiful, go for the cover, kid. No! Out she might have wasted too much time there. That spare second, celebrate when you're done. What, you never count your money at the dealer's table or something like that? That's right. Heidi really digging down deep here. Letting Patera get to her feet, I don't know about that. Again with the full Nelson. I just got another Hooks counter. Rolls through. No. Rolls through again. No. Oh, Patera had the tights. Oh, I'm not sure I saw that. I was watching the shoulders of Heidi Lovelace. They were down for the entire count. 54 seconds. Your winner, Miss Natural, Heather Patera. Patera definitely had the tights. An excellent match marred by a controversial ending there. I will have to buy this DVD at aawrestling.com to see that again. I did not see the handful of tights. You just want to watch her spit that loogie.
If you would like to advertise your business, product, or website with AAW Pro Wrestling, email us at sales at aawrestling.com. Show your support for AAW by getting all of the latest AAW t-shirts at prowrestlingtees.com slash AAW. ProWrestlingTees.com is the official t-shirt provider for AAW Professional Wrestling Redefined. Wrestling fans, see AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined live this Saturday night at Freakster's Roadhouse in Pontiac, Illinois. Bell time is 7.30 and tickets will be available at the door. See Shane Hollister defend the AAW Heavyweight title against Michael Elgin, plus the return of Rhino, and so much more. Do not miss out on this event, aawrestling.com. Wrestling fans, this just in, AAW is back at the Berwyn Eagles Club on Friday, April 11th at 7.45 p.m. Tickets are available now at aawrestling.com. Run, don't walk to your computer terminal and order them today. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Phil Coven alongside Derek St. Holmes, Esquire. We really hope you've been enjoying the product here on AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined over the last few weeks on Maddie GTV. You can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out on Twitter at AAW Pro. And you can go to our website, aawrestling.com, for tickets, merchandise, all kinds of great stuff, including the roster section. And who might we see on that roster section, Derek St. Holmes? You'll see all the superstars and one person in particular, Dirty DL Dan Lawrence. He's the longest tenured performer here in AAW, a triple crown champion. He's done it all. Still out there acting like a goof. Hit him up for a shot of Malort. You'll see him, you'll see everybody else. What else do we got, Phil Colvin? We got Dirty Dan Lawrence and Colt Cabana, and it's coming up next. Here we go, fans, big grudge match. Both these guys hold a singles win over each other, and both with a handful of tights. Let's see who uh, wins the rubber match. Listen to the fans here for Cabana. He knows Honky Tonk Man. That's awesome. Thigh brushes. Yes. Womb broom. Yes. That one's a little darker. <laughs> Cabana, usually uh, all smiles, not so much here tonight. Look at this. Well, it is a grudge match. As here we go. Nobody home on the splash. Oh, and the big jabs. Here we go. Well, this is going to be a quick one. We might be able to get home tonight. Oh, and Lawrence answers the elbow. Off the ropes he goes. Cabana getting a tossed outside there. Oh. Nice move by DL. Cabana catches his ankle on the ringside barrier. Cabana might have injured the Achilles tendon there. Oh, that's a vicious shot. Come down on the exposed bones on the side of the ankle. Weak shot there by DL. 
doesn't really have good leverage there. Oh, and Cabana leisurely strolling away. Okay. Sharing high fives with the crowd. Saw that one coming a mile away. Dan Lawrence all out of sorts here. Spilling over uh, Jimmy D. Oh, in the steamboat chop. Not dead. No. Gray, but still hanging in. Yeah, didn't he have a stroke or something? I don't know. I thought he did. Oh, look at that. So uh, I had quite an interesting phone conversation this week. Cole Cabana wearing the members only jacket now. Had, had an interesting phone conversation this week. Yes, with who? Dave Meltzer's mom. What? Yeah, apparently she handles the subscription issues. Really? Yeah, I thought that was great. She had, uh, oh, taken off that members only to fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> Does she uh, have any insider info? Uh, no, she had, she had gone swimming for the first time in five weeks. Uh, she had a cut on the side of her leg that she had to let heal up. And then, uh, you know, once that was done, she went swimming. But since it was her first time, she didn't really do a lot of swimming. She just luxuriated in the pool. Wow. Yeah. That's good yeah. to know. That's cool. Dave Meltzer's office looks like shit. Yeah. Oh, and a big shot by, by Cole Cabana. A big resounding thud there. Man, Chicago loves Cole Cabana. Yes. Yes, they do. Can you blame him? No. Lawrence not fighting back. Oh, Lawrence going to unleash one of his own. Here we go. Can't oh. quite see what happened there, but... Lawrence went for the chop and missed, and Cabana responded in kind. Oh, now coming around to this side. Cabana loves this kind of stuff. He loves getting the fans involved. Uh, okay. We have a sign. We have a target. Oh! Cole Cabana is now the carrot top of AAW. There we go. Yeah. Carrot top. Jacked and looks weird. He looks like a cat. Yeah. Like from that Sleepwalker Stephen King thing. Yes, yes. Oh! Sign paper. Oh! oh man, Lawrence taking the initiative there. I like that move by DL. Yeah, well, you know, Cole Cabana with all his ha-ha on the outside of the ring. DL, longest reigning competitor here in AAW. Certainly been in the trenches. He knows a trick or two. Triple crown winner, Dan Lawrence. Another guy looking sharp in a new haircut. I think that haircut just makes Dan look like more of a dick, so. Yeah, well, you get, some well right you, get, you get what you pay for. He's going to work over to the left leg now of Cabana. Grabs them both. Oh, no, oh, he's going to. really go curse here. Trying to use Cabana's own submission against him. Can't quite get it. Instead comes oh. over, I believe he calls that the Chinese gas pedal. Wow. Claims that, uh. You know, one of those things you learned like Indian wrestling or Hertz Donut when you were a kid. Right. Said he used to do said he used to do the Chinese gas pedal. I none of my friends did that. Some big right hands now from Lawrence with Cabana. Back to his feet now. A little boom boom going there. Oh, and the big right hand. Cabana on the comeback now. There's Lawrence in the corner. Head of steam. Whoa, oh, oh. Nobody home there. Cabana again on the outside. Looked like he caught himself, but. DL extolling his intelligence. Fuck you, Lawrence. Fuck you, Lawrence. Fuck you, Lawrence. They say F you. He says, I'm going up top. Fair enough. Taking a lot of time getting up there. Cabana to his feet on the outside. DL uh, looking a little unsteady up on the top there. Oh, Cabana, Cabana coming up. Oh, now DL. Playing chicken here. What they call that in baseball? The hot box where you're in there? Oh, oh right hand from Lawrence. Could be it. He's setting up. 
DL up in the heaven, up. Oh! Maybe a couple too many Malort shots. DL coming off his birthday earlier this week. Nobody home there. Cole has him up. Atomic drop. Spins him around. Picks his spot. Oh, and there it is. Nails him. They used to call that the turd stopper. Ah. I, oh, I got, yeah. Yep. I understand why that would be one. Yep. Here it comes. Flying asshole. Nobody home. Lawrence out. DL going to try it in his reduced body weight. I don't know how effective that will be. Not at all. And oh, Cabana flattened him. No, Lawrence pops out. Out at two. Puts him in now. Lawrence in hard. Puts the boot up. Finds the second. Oh, nice head scissor takeover. Cabana to his feet. Oh. Oh, Dan Lawrence pulling out some moves. <laughs> Going in for the cover. Lays across the shoulders. Cabana pushes him off. Nice near fall there for Dan Lawrence off the Tornado DDT. Yes. I'm going to call it a DDT from now on. <laughs> Why is that? And it just rolls off the tongue for me better. Oh, okay. Oh, taking off, taking off the elbow pad, stomping the, stomping the hand. Uh-oh. He's got the bullseye pad. Oh, no. Oh, that's disrespectful. Oh, he's got it. Firing in those rights. Oh, and Cabana now. Okay. Turning the table. Adjust the equipment. Okay. Oh, and he nails it. Cole Cabana, ladies and gentlemen. Cole Cabana. He's going for it. Go for the Billy Goats curse. Runs him through. Not once. No. Lawrence able to roll through. It's a nice counter there by DL. Neckbreaker. Oh, oh nice. Block. Nice. Improvises no. a cover. Dan Lawrence getting that neckbreaker out of nowhere. Buying himself some time here in this one. DL in the far corner. Setting up the diesel. Form catches him with an elbow. DL has him up on top. Electric chair. He's going for the reverse Rana. No, no, no. Kamana changes his grip. He's got the Billy Goats curse. Oh! Really wrenching back on it. Beautiful application. Walks him back to the center. I don't see a way out for Dan Lawrence here. He tapped. That's it. Cabana with the big win in the rubber match. If you would like to advertise your business, product, or website with AAW Pro Wrestling, email us at sales at aawrestling.com. 
Show your support for AAW by getting all of the latest AAW t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com slash AAW. ProWrestlingTees.com is the official t-shirt provider for AAW Professional Wrestling Redefined. Wrestling fans, see AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined live this Saturday night at Freakster's Roadhouse in Pontiac, Illinois. Bell time is 7.30 and tickets will be available at the door. See Shane Hollister defend the AAW Heavyweight title against Michael Elgin, plus the return of Rhino and so much more. Do not miss out on this event, aawrestling.com. Wrestling fans, this just in, AAW is back at the Berwyn Eagles Club on Friday, April 11th at 7.45 p.m., Tickets are available now at aawrestling.com. Run, don't walk to your computer terminal and order them today. Welcome back here, fans. And uh, coming up, we have a youngster with a chip on his shoulder. Seems to be a lot of guys like that around here. But uh, we have young Alex Cologne from the East Coast coming back to AAW. Looks like he's looking for some competition, St. Holmes. And uh, this is the right place to find something like that. Maybe in the uh, form of the Marcus Crane Experience. The Marcus Crane Experience. One of my favorite up-and-coming wrestlers. You can't explain what he does, you have to experience it. Alex Colon certainly taking on a big challenge. I've seen this guy kill monsters, I've seen him chop down trees with his bare hand. Alex Colon, you're in for a fight, boy. Let's go to the ring right now. This is my new personal favorite wrestler, Phil Colvin. The Marcus Crane Experience. The Marcus Crane Experience. You've been trying to get that over for about a year. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Well, let's talk about his opponent a little bit here. Alex Colon. Alex Colon making his comeback here. He's had a couple matches in some uh, three and four way matches. Tonight, his first one on one. He certainly has a. Whoa. You know, I shouldn't that say that. He actually worked Samurai Del Sol last year. They had a very impressive match there. And they start off with trading some holds here on the mat, pinning combinations. The experience with Arana instead into a cartwheel. Oh! Oh! Beautiful drop kick there by Cologne. Did you see his head snap back on that? Cologne's been making a name for himself on the East Coast here this year. Looks to be in great shape. Looks very intense. And uh, Marcus Crane is Marcus Crane. The Marcus Crane experience with a double bicep running into the corner. Eats a boot. Another double bicep. Intimidating oh. Alex Cologne into a knee strike. Ha 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 ha. Very good. You know, Crane's so unorthodox in his attack. I mean, just goofy. That's I mean, what I mean. How do you prepare for goofy? You don't prepare for goofy, you just have to experience it. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Fireman's carry, oh God! Right on the damn apron! And if you're a wrestling fan, you know that there's no give on that apron! <laughs> Cologne in for the cover. Oh, the experience out at two with a double bicep. Beautiful. Is, he, is Cologne thinking here? Trying to tie him up, and Crane fighting back. Oh, oh and these knee strikes by Crane, very effective. Springboarding. Oh, missed the springboard. Oh! Once he got it, drove him right down. Cologne with an impressive win here tonight. In one minute, 20 seconds, your winner, Alex Cologne. Trash out my brain.
Yeah, I know you want to call me beautiful and probably so many other wonderful names, but you can just call me Scarlet Bordeaux, bad bitch extraordinaire. You can come see me and my man Shane Hoster live every month at AEW. Come check us out. Wrestling fans, see AAW Pro Wrestling Redefined live this Saturday night at Freakster's Roadhouse in Pontiac, Illinois. Bell time is 7.30 and tickets will be available at the door. See Shane Hollister defend the AAW Heavyweight title against Michael Elgin, plus the return of Rhino, and so much more. Do not miss out on this event, aawrestling.com. Wrestling fans, this just in, AAW is back at the Berwyn Eagles Club on Friday, April 11th at 7.45 p.m. Tickets are available now at aawrestling.com. Run, don't walk to your computer terminal and order them today. So I was getting sick of uh, guys calling people out here at AAW. I thought it was Josh Abercrombie. Silas looks to be in great, great condition tonight. I like his haircut. I do too. I didn't think I would, but I do. Looks sharp. Where's Val? Conspicuous by her absence. That's the best, huh? All right, everybody, let's give him a round of applause. The best of the best. Marcus craned his ass in a minute and a half. I'll give you that. You didn't even break a sweat, right? Well, here's the difference. Now you're getting in the ring with the last real man in professional wrestling. We're going to find out who the best of the best is in this ring right now. So instead of flapping your mouth at these retards, how would you get your ass in the ring and get it kicked like it's intended? Silas Young, some smatterings of support coming from the ringsiders here in Berwyn. Alex Cologne looking a bit hesitant. <laughs> very, the ring bell tonight. Very, ti very timid, timid sounding ring bell. Special crowd here tonight in Berwyn, Illinois. There we go. Should well, be a very competitive matchup here. Let's see what Cologne's really got. Sun was beating down earlier. Yes. Tie up now. Cologne grabs the arm early on Silas. I uh, can't remember the last bad match Silas Young has had. Probably uh, 2002. <laughs> probably, yes. Snaps the guy down. Immobilizes that arm. Silas Young looking in fantastic shape. Taking that trip and Cologne went for a leg lock there. Silas had it scouted, went for the arm. Oh, jujitsu from Silas Young there. Or is that just catch it could be It could be catch wrestling. There is some dispute as to where it came from. But. That's Josh Barnett. I mean, well, but when it boils down to it, there's only so many ways to bend a joint, you know. Somebody's got or, to think Or roll. It. Easy. If you're so inclined. Yes. Which I know you are. Suds and Buds, right. former tag team of... Uh, Silas Young. Nice man work here by Silas. Look at that bridge. Bridge is going to kick over. Yes. It certainly is into a crab. Beautiful. Oh. Cologne was Maybe. able to ride that momentum back, and we got a stalemate. Here. Young looked like he was going for a cloverleaf or something there. Think of the wars that Silas Young has had in this building over the last 10 years. Oh, I mean, we go all the way back to the Jason Dukes feud. <laughs> I mean, Through fire in his face. The Jimmy Jacobs matches, the Tyler Black matches. Who? Seth Rollins matches. I mean, all the way to those absolute classics with Michael Elgin last year. I mean, Silas Young has seen it all in this company. In this company, not to mention very well-traveled. You know, we got to bring up that issue with Eddie Kingston. It's got to be far from over. We heard Kingston earlier. 
Uh, really with some disparaging comments, not only towards Silas, but Val. Well, and that's right, you pointed out earlier that Val wasn't at ringside. The Kingston punched her right in her mouth. Whoa! There's a good chance she might, you know, discretion being the better part of Valor, may have stayed at home tonight. You know, we saw Silas covering her with his own body last month. You know, we haven't seen Silas do that for Val in a long, long time. That's true, that's true. Pro wrestling in Berwyn, AAW. Tops in the Midwest, working on the nation. Tie up here, Silas with the side headlock. We're bad, we're nationwide. We're gonna fire him off. Ooh. Silas gonna win that one all night, I would think. That's true. Down they go. Looks oh. to have a good 20 pounds on Cologne. He had him so seamlessly there. Going, nice counter, and Cologne really showing me something here with these counters. Another one rolls through like it's nothing. Springboarding. Cross body. Silas going to pick him up dead weight here. <laughs> like nothing. Now into the PG Watcher plunge. No. No. Oh. Faked out everybody there. Watching his Dave Finley tapes. Oh, close lines him over the top to the floor. Is Silas firing up the crowd? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> if Silas Young dives, I'm going home. Oh, Cologne saves my job. Uh, you gonna stick around for a while? Man? Yeah, I'm here for the long. All right, cool. Oh, now maybe this is where Cologne wanted the match outside here. Brawl a little bit. Let's see what Cologne can do here. Wasn't really tested against the experience earlier. Puts him right into the guardrail. You know, a lot of these fans uh, spent the day out in the sun in the Chicago Blackhawks Stanley Cup parade here in Chicago today. Yeah, I heard they won the Stanley Cup. Now, now let's just get over it. Oh! oh. Three Jamin! Going right into these ringsiders we talked about. They're glad they paid the extra money for front row there. That's right, that's right. Uh, Silas rolling Cologne back into the ring, gesturing to the ringsiders. Oh, oh. The ice. <laughs> <laughs> Silas Young, I uh, hate to say it, with his approval of the ringsiders, might be a step off his game. Well, I got to agree, St. Holmes. Usually he spends most of his match trying to get inside his opponent's skull. This Cologne is no joke here. Big left hand. Didn't know that Alex was a southpaw, apparently so. Vicious one dropped to the much larger Silas Young. Drops the elbow, hooks the leg. Out at one. You know, the first guy I ever saw drop the elbow like that? Who's that? The Great Moon. And I'm going to be bringing it up all night because I watched like five hours of his early WCW stuff. Really? Yeah. I always like that uh, jumping round back kick that he yes. does. Yes. I like the springboard elbow. Nobody uh, does it quite as good to this day. Right, right. He's old now. Oh, with these yeah. tricks here, Muay Thai knees. Ha <laughs> oh. ha. Sykes him up. That's actually pretty good because Silas Young probably tensed up expecting a kick to the back, which rendered him open for that chin lock. Got to be there. And now Cologne. Listen to the fans here. So did I tell you when I went out to the coast, I went to... Uh, Johnny Rods' gym. I heard. Yeah. Did you train with Taz and Dreamer? No, I did not. Oh, Young pulls him back to the corner. He wasn't there that day, but we told the old boxing manager why we were there, and he says, yeah, I uh, let me get the key. I'll open up his office. You can go inside and look around. Okay. It was pretty, yeah, it was pretty cool. Awesome. I got a t-shirt. You actually sent me a picture from outside the old ECW arena. That's right. That's right. I believe the text said, it's a dump. Yes, but the coolest thing is when we were walking up to take that picture, we saw another two two guys come up and do the same thing, take the picture and walk away. So it's kind of a little mecca. I liked it. Kind of like the Berwyn Eagles Club. Remember the time you worked Sandman there? No. Oh, could have swore that happened. Well, I was. <laughs> I did a lot of. I was all whacked out. I was whacked out on Nubian and pills. You know, like allegedly the rest of the locker. Silas still alive here. You know who wrestled NCW? Matt Bo Matt Bourne. Dead. Got rest. Boom. Oh, Silas now carrying him around like, like Yoda. <laughs> Boom. Silas Young crawling to the mid-ring. 
probably trying to put a plan together, but Alex... Find his bearings after that chin lock. Alex Colon really took the starch out of Silas Young. This kid's no joke, St. Holmes. Like I said, he's made a big name for himself on the East Coast this year. Trying to break some ground in the Midwest with AAW tonight, and a win over Silas would be gigantic. But right now he's eating some knife edges. Oh! Ooh. So weird seeing Silas get fired up. There's a minute now. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Oh, reverse slam! Reverse slam. Wow. It's all I got. Reverse slam. No, no, I, I don't doubt that. That's exactly what it was. I just hadn't seen one before. Wow. I'm sure you've seen one. So. It's got to be called something else. I'm Ed Johnson. I would have called it a flapjack. Ed Johnson? I'm Ed Johnson. I'm Ed Johnson. Okay. Remember him? Yeah. He always had booger snaps in his nose. Yeah. Except I think that was supposed to be Vaseline or something. Or Coke or, No, 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 no. The, uh, the Vicks. It's probably rocks. <sighs> oh, oh, dropped toe hold. Silas hit his chin right on that turnbuckle pad. Oh, he's perched. Oh, oh God. Alex Cologne kicking the piss out of Silas Young. Oh my! Wow! Cologne really making a statement here, fans. Oh, oh come no, on. no. Cologne showing that it just wasn't important enough to get the victory. Prolonging this match for how long? Deep chin lock sitting on the lower back of Silas Young. Young able to get his knees up underneath, wreck the leverage. Oh, hooks him up, plants him into the ring. Cologne rolls back through. Going back to the camel clutch. Wow, okay. Has it hooked? Oh, lacing his fingers. Not quite sure I agree with that, but pulls way back on him. Oh, Young going backwards into the ropes. Oh, Cologne taking his time on the break. No disqualification, but there is referee's discretion. Cologne, John with the ringsiders, letting Silas Young back to his hands and knees, letting him catch a breath. I don't know if I agree with that course of action. Here we go now. Try to whip him across. No, Silas not having it. Silas grabbing the ropes, breaks a hold. Knee strike. Oh, oh God. I thought he was going for a Yurinagi, but he might have turned his lights off. No! for Alex Cologne here. Wow. Silas Young's in trouble, fans. Big trouble. Look like he's going back to that camel clutch. Silas like a wounded animal at this point. Oh! Picks him up out of nowhere. He couldn't even find it. Hooks it. Silas usually pops right to his feet there. He couldn't get it. Oh, the big boot. That's from those yellow boots. Oh, here it is. Killer combo. Oh. I don't know. Silas Young... Again, a step off his game. He usually pops right out of that Nagasaki roll right to the top, but couldn't find his feet there. He's definitely jarred here, St. Holmes. Cologne could easily score the upset here. Oh, but look at Young, his championship instincts, rolling to his hands and feet. Has him up again now. Can he hit it? Can he hit it clean? He can! Beautiful. PG wants a plunge! No! But he lands on his feet. He's able to find Cologne there. There it is, oh, the stock lock! There we go. He's got it! It's right in the center! He said we are Cologne is a long way away from the rope. And he taps with the stock lock! What a win for Silas Young over a young, hungry opponent tonight! Wow! All right, fans, we knew Alex Cologne was looking for a fight. I think he got a little more than he uh, bargained for there with Silas Young, but we know that's not Silas Young's end game here. That's, uh, that's true. Silas Young obviously sending a message out there to your boy, Eddie Kingston. You said he was your I, best friend. You said you guys that. Facebooked and Twittered all the time. I, uh, I'm going to tell Silas that you've been talking to him because I think Silas has something to prove. He's sending a message to Eddie Kingston. Well, me and Kingston roll in different clicks, man. Different, but anyway, fans, we're running out of time here on AAW. We want to thank you for joining us again. So much going on here in the company. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, AAWrestling.com. And we'll see you next week for Derek St. Holmes Esquire. I'm Phil Colvin. AAW is professional wrestling. Redefined. I'm gonna go watch regarding Jenny. <laughs>